What's YouTube? It's your boy Joseph Falls. We back out again with another video, and today we're looking at some Deadpool gameplay for Marvel's Midnight Suns. This game is out now. You can get it on all major platforms. Um, there's actually a sale. Um, if you check around a few places, the the game is one of those games that are on sale right now. So definitely, it's definitely worth checking out. I have some gameplay footage of it as well, my own gameplay. So you could um check it out in the annotations. Or at the end of the video on the end screen and it'll take you straight to the video so um without further ado let's get to the video we're back yes now, sir what do deadpool wolverine and i have in common by now you may have figured these out but i'm going to tell you anyways number one we're incredibly good looking number two we're incredibly humble number three we all love root beer as mandated by the canadian government and number four we were all part of the weapon x program only one of these is a fib by the way so I'll let you guess which one. Hmm. We are back with another character showcase created in partnership with Marvel and 2K. The first of the DLC heroes, as you know, is Wade Wilson, the Merc with a Mouth, our favorite fourth wall breaker. Is this a Mole Man thing? Deadpool. Deadpool's kit is almost entirely built around his En Fuego system. And we're gonna say en fuego a lot today, so start keeping track. En fuego. Each time you KO an enemy with a Deadpool ability, you're gonna build your en fuego meter. Once that meter fills, it adds a stack of en fuego, and the meter resets. Of his ten cards, nine are modified by the number of en fuego stack. So, like some of the other top tier damage dealers in the game, think people like Iron Man, Ghost Rider, Hulk. It makes sense mm -hmm. to build your team comp around them to let them shine as much as possible. Now, Deadpool is gonna lose some effectiveness when taking damage, so heroes like Captain America, or surprisingly enough, considering their relationship, Wolverine, are helpful to taunt enemy attention away from Mr. Pool. Unsurprisingly, of course, Doctor Strange has a couple of abilities in Vapors of Altur and the Shield of the Seraphim that would complement Deadpool extremely well here. Now let's start with one of Deadpool's common attack cards, titled after a nice little XCOM Death from above. Death from above. Wade's hey. gonna take to the air while drawing both of his swords and then come plunging down towards his target. And if you have En Fuego stacks, you'll start seeing hugely increased damage per stack. If you I love the animations Death on this thing, above, it's so dope. You're going to increase the damage per En Fuego stack. Are you keeping track of the Enfuego mentions? Because we're at least over five. I know that. Almost ten, This I is one say. of the more straightforward applications of Enfuego. Before we get into some of the more advanced ways Enfuego affects his abilities, let's look at his passive. I'm personally looking forward to spending as much time with Deadpool as possible. He's witty, he's funny, he's sassy, and he's got just a little bit of the edge, you know? He's going to kind of get everybody on their toes at the Abbey for sure. These are all top qualities that you want in a best friend. Each of the DLC heroes has their own arcs, similar to the base game heroes. And if you follow and these <laughs> to develop your friendship, you you'll unlock Deadpool's passive ability called Staying Alive. How that works is each turn you'll heal 15% of his max health. Very helpful for those times when you're not able to taunt away or conceal him from enemy strikes with supporting staff. And at level 2 of Staying Alive, you're going to heal an additional 5% of max health per Enfuego stack. Moving on, Deadpool has two skill cards in his kit. And for this showcase, we're looking at his legendary Hey face. And if we've learned anything, we've learned that cards with exhaust are very situationally powerful, and Hey face fits the bill. Deadpool will taunt an enemy and gain a resist for each Enfuego stack. Resist is arguably one of the strongest mechanics in Midnight Suns. Unlike most other status effects, it remains until it's consumed. If you're able to play Hey base with a large and fuego stack you'll likely have enough resist to last the rest of the battle mm, on upgrade you'll okay. gain one resist without needing an enfuego stack at all and depending on your current hand you can play this as an early card play and then taunt away or conceal deadpool to keep those stacks for future turns but this should help preserve his enfuego stacks as the mission continues let's move over to his common heroic ability it's called pain pinata Deadpool targets an AoE and damages every enemy in the AoE. If you guys have played any Midnight Suns, you'll know that the battlefield can get pretty crazy, especially late game. So AoE damage is very yeah, much appreciated. Of course, we need an Enfuego modifier for this one. And instead of modifying the damage, we're going to be actually modifying the size of the AoE itself. Each Enfuego stack increases the size of the AoE by a whopping 25%. 
On upgrade, you'll get a much appreciated reduction in heroism cost as well. Speaking of heroism, outside of his mag dump ability, Deadpool mm -hmm. requires very little heroism to be effective. This is something that sets him apart from his comparable damage dealing buddies like Iron Man, Ghost Rider, or Hulk. And this should open up some interesting team comps, so keep that in mind when you're experimenting with your builds. Last yeah, well, Iron Man, you need a lot of heroism to like do do a lot of his more effective effective moves. So um, it's good to see a, a character that's similar to him as far as dealing damage, and then but it's easier for you to get a lot of different different um, abilities off. Last but not least, let's look at Wade's legendary heroic ability called Burning Sensation. Weird title, sensation. but wow. it is Deadpool after all, so I'm not surprised. Excellent for dealing huge single target damage versus one of those Guardians, Nest Mothers, or Fallen Villains. Burning Sensation's damage doubles for each Enfuego stack. The upgrade mm. here increases the base damage, which exponentially increases the benefits from the Enfuego stacks too. So that's Wade in a nutshell, the first of four announced DLC heroes. Make sure you're subscribed to both that's the cool. Midnight Suns YouTube channel and my own. My name again is Christopher Odd, and I'll make sure that there's links down below for all things Midnight Suns. Thanks again to Marvel and 2K for working with me on these showcases. I hope you enjoy playing the game with the new heroes as they release. And of course, I'm going to be back to do more showcases as they do release. Thank you so much for watching. Deadpool is going to be available on January 26th. Very Which excited is, for you guys to get your hands as on As of the recording of the video, it's the 28th, so it's out already. Good, the bad, the undead. Food in the season pass. All right, that was dope. So, um, I like this uh, in Fuego system that they're talking about here. Um, as you KO friend. enemies... The meter goes up, and the meter when the meter goes up, it amplifies um, your attacks. It amplifies your cards. So um, when you when you have the meter full, it'll show you how many bars of it you have based off how many. Like you see right here where it says Enfuego. Like if you had two if you had two bars full of Enfuego, meaning you defeated. I don't know how many enemies it would take to def to def to fill it all the way up, but I know as you KO enemies, you know with the abilities you can um, it goes up. So um, when this goes up, it um adds plus one or whatever the ability is. It adds that it adds an amp if it adds the amplified amount. Like each card has a different point value that it adds on to the um that it adds on depending on how many Enfuego you had. Like, so if you had, let's say this resist number was two. If you had two Enfuego, then it would be four. It'd be plus four resist like that. I was, I was tripping. I was tripping on my words there, but yeah, yeah, that's, that's um you, you guys get what I'm saying. Um, so he has four abilities in Fuego taunt. Um, y'all know how taunt works. It forces enemies to attack the one that's doing the taunt. Um, resist prevents all damage for the next damage attack and exhaust removed from combat when played. So, yeah, interesting character. It's an interesting character. I'm, I'm going to be coming up with some dope squads. He has 10 different cards, and I can't wait to use them. It's definitely going to be definitely going to be worth the uh, worth the DLC money. I should have just got the legendary edition, I got the regular edition, but I should have just got the legendary edition with the season pass and all of that. But I'm gonna get the season pass. And I'm gonna do that. I'll post some game, some Deadpool gameplay as well when I do do that. Cause that's what I did. That's what I did when I had Marvel. I had faith in Marvel Avengers, but it just wasn't it. It just really wasn't it. So, um, yeah. So y'all, let me know what y'all think about this. Does this game look cool to you? Who do you have this game? If you have this game, have you played with Deadpool since it's out already? It's been out for a couple of days already. Have you played for it? Have you played with it? Let me know in the comments. So, um. Y'all already know the vibes. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. This is your boy, Justin Falls, and we out. One.